Well, what do we do? <clears throat> We're on a good problem tonight. And I want to see whether I can fully communicate the nature of the problem. Essentially, the problem is about man and the whole problem of life after death. It's a special kind of problem. It has several aspects. But essentially, this is the problem. Let this represent a line of existence. So we're born here, we go through all kinds of things, and so we die. Next, under the assumption of reincarnation, pass into another world, and then, of course, return. We call it the problem of reincarnation. And I put another word in it. It's the problem of justice and reincarnation. Of course, the problem is first that whatever good you've achieved or negatives, whatever they may be, if they have any consequence on one's experiences in the realm of the dead. It doesn't have any effect on what may be said to be open to us in the experience of the world of the dead. In a curious, very curious way, we can dramatize this by saying, if this was a universe in which reincarnation could take place, and you could profit by all that you have learned and all that you've done, both positive and negative, then this would be a learning experience. And therefore, if there were a learning experience, then coming back into this world, you would then be much better than you were before. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, if this is the case, would you even have ever done the negatives that you've done if you were all born pure and free of any negativity? Look here, hold that for a moment. So, in this curious universe, let us make one, all right, where you really learn in the next world and then are reborn. If you then have learned all of this, <clears throat> you either forgot it on birth or it shapes your character. <laughs> Fundamental attitudes. And if that's the case, either we forgot it, we forgot all of that learning, and therefore it didn't help us any, unless we can recall it. And if that learning then shaped us and shapes our character, then would it not follow that we should be better for each reincarnation? And which is why, as you notice in this world, people are always getting better. Oh, there's one aspect. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. As we go through each life and we grow, we get new challenges each time. That's a possibility, right? Then the things that you've learned, you, there's so many new challenges that you only make those mistakes in that arena that is new to you. And therefore, people that live in traditional ways and reincarnated in traditional ways would become the wise and the good since they have nothing particularly new. Um, Something you never learn. Uh-oh. 
Now, let me add another one to this. To whatever degree, let's move this now from learning, suppose there's no learning. Suppose there is only punishment for the negatives and rewards for the goods. Now, if that's the case, if that's the case, there's no learning. And you're simply paid off. That's your, your kind of go into the next world with your bank account of all of your deeds, right? A kind of itemized account. And so you get punishment rewards. No learning. Uh-oh. If that's the case, then each time you return, you're not going to learn anything here. It's not a realm of learning. Then if that's the case, the only place then you can learn is here. Well, that's rather interesting. Then there's a great, there must be a great emphasis on what kind of learning can make a person better than he was before. <clears throat> because <clears throat> whatever kind of learning a person goes through, it won't make any difference if he continually picks up punishments and rewards, especially more and more punishments. So it has to be, if this is what we're doing in this existence of ours, there had better be some way we can gain a, an insight into why we are doing these negative things. And it may equally be while, we, while we're doing the rewards, because it may be that we're only getting uh, rewards for small things and we're missing the higher. And therefore, there may be greater rewards that we are ignorant of. So therefore, if there is a learning in this world, in this life, then it should off open, up, open up the possibility for us for greater goods or rewards, the things that we will later get greater rewards for, and lessen the negatives so that we will get little, if any, punishment. Right? That's what the kind of learning we should really get. Right? The kind of learning we most need, then, is to open up the, po the possibility of greater good so then we can get greater rewards in the next world and lessen the negatives so when we die once more, we will have even less punishment. Therefore, punishments will decrease. But nonetheless, whatever it is, whatever punishments, whatever negatives they be, to whatever extent, we're going to be paying for those. And therefore, that's another dilemma we have. Hmm. That'll change a lot. Pardon me? That'll change a lot. Because each time you learn, when you go through school, the first grade, you have lessons to learn, and you go to the second grade, and you have challenges. You're so right. But we're going to have to discover the kind of learning that most definitely benefits man, okay. especially the highest good. And unless we can in some way bring people to see that, they're going to keep coming back for lesser goods and lesser goods. So we have to identify those greater goods and bring man in some way to see that those are the essential.